have you ever come up short? Look, maybe you are on your way home from the beach and you realize you need to run into the store and grab one thing. You run in, you're walking through the store as quickly as possible because your friends are waiting in the car. You grab seven items, get to the checkout, and realize you only have a $20 bill in your pocket. So, much to your dismay and should the checkout ladies chagrin, you have to leave the family-sized double stuff Oreos behind. You've fallen short. You came up short with the amount of money you needed to pay for that purchase. Has that ever happened to you? Has that ever happened to anyone you know? <laughs> uh, our idiom, our expression today for Supersize Your Business is, Sharon Hornells from here, come up short, to come up short or to fall short. Now this idiom, some of us are born short, so we're just born with the challenge of always finding ways to compensate or make up for things. Uh, so coming up short, falling short, not meeting our targets, not meeting our goals, uh, not doing something right the first time, uh, it, it happens to all of us as human beings, especially when we're growing and building and supersizing our business. You know, there's so many different ways of saying this. Uh, this is one of those idioms that I could not find the origin of, and I dug. I dug yesterday for a while trying to figure out and find different ways of where did this idiom come from, where did this expression come from, where does falling short or, uh, you know, failing come from, and I'm sure I could have worded it differently and found a close origin, but I decided it was more important to talk about what it means and really what we do when we experience it, because we're all going to experience it at some time in our life. Now, it depends what target we're going after, what we're trying to do, and how we define things, as well as um, whether we're comparing ourselves to other standards or other people's expectations or something. You know, to, to come up short or fall short means we haven't met expectations. Well, whose expectations haven't we met? Are they our own expectations? Are they someone else's expectations? Are they our boss's expectations? Um, <coughs> how we define it and how we decide to look at it and what we decide to do about an experience where we didn't quite hit the target or hit our mark is really important. It speaks to our character. It speaks to how fast we'll recover when we have a setback or we hit an obstacle or a roadblock and, or a difficult situation or a difficult person um, and how fast we'll get back on track to where it is that we want to go. In our businesses, I don't think that there's a business that I ever have been involved in. I've been involved in dozens and dozens of them and with literally thousands of other people's businesses where we decided to do something, we had a, our objective in mind and we went on a terrifically direct straight line from where we were to where we wanted to go. I've never met a single business person. I've never met a single human being where that has exactly happened to. Hey, this is what I'm going to go for. This is the straight line. No, we have ups and downs and trials and tribulations and tests along the way to really see if we're serious about the thing that we say that we want or not. So first thing we need to do is be honest with ourselves and say, hey, have I ever come up short? And when that's happened to me, what have I done about the situation? How have I handled it? Have I thrown the the double stuff Oreos at the checkout lady and run out of the store and the money and then gotten out of the store as quick as I can feeling embarrassed? Or have I said, well, I was at the beach, only at 20 bucks. I'm going to have to put these double stuff Oreos back and just confidently handle the situation. How we handle the situation says a lot about us. Uh, but sometimes we all fall short. We all, and sometimes we don't even know we're falling short when a situation happens or arises. Um, sometimes we could have stood up for somebody, could have said something that we didn't think was right, and we just remained silent. Sometimes we don't even know that there's a situation going on that we could have helped with, and in that estimation, our friend or we might think that we fell short because we didn't do the right thing. We didn't stand up. We didn't even know that we should stand up for the right thing. Uh, there's so many different ways of saying this idiom. I think it's really interesting, but it ties directly into the whole topic of change and challenges and setbacks and obstacles and um, adversities and roadblocks, things that get in our way of our direct path to go from where we are to where we want to be. Uh, we can be humbled. We can be worsted. We could be the loser. We could decline. We could drop. We could fail. We could be ousted. We could be, um, we could drop a bundle on the wrong vendor, the wrong idea, the wrong plan, the wrong road. How many times do we go down the wrong road when we're building and supersizing our business? We use the wrong vendor, we use the wrong coach, we use the wrong uh, supplier, we get 
uh, we think we're going to save money by getting a, a, a bit, bunch of bids for a project and we go with the lowest bid only to discover that we've made a huge mistake and that the person that we selected for the bid doesn't have the capability to deliver what they said they could deliver. We all make those kinds of mistakes. We, we, we pick the wrong people. Sometimes we serve the wrong customer. Sometimes we just make a mistake because we didn't do enough due diligence. That's part of, of the human experience. That's part of um, learning from our mistakes, learning lessons that we need in order to grow and build and supersize our business. So obviously I've had plenty of experience coming up short. I'd love to hear your experiences with this particular feeling and how did you deal with it? What did you do? Did you course correct as soon as you realized you'd made a mistake or something had happened that you didn't expect? Did you uh, look for excuses or somebody to blame or reasons why it didn't work? Uh, or did you just say, well, that didn't work, what's next? And then go on to the next thing and try something else. I am a firm believer in if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Do something else, do something else, take another action until you figure out what you need to do. And always remember, if there's somebody that's done it before you, you can model them and learn from their experiences. So share in the comments below your experience with coming up short, came up short, fall short, whatever version of the expression you are most familiar with. I'd love to see that. If you have any questions about uh, this particular idiom or expression or any other idiom you'd like to know the name of or the name of, you know the name of, the meaning and the origin of, ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting challenge and change related idiom to coincide with the Get Up and Go Challenge this month. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.